Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabio for Explain America, and Nancy Pelosi just did the unthinkable in a meltdown on national television. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So the former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, she wasn't at all enamored with every part of Joe Biden's speech. In particular, there was one part that stuck in her craw, and it's going to stick in your craw that it bothered her. See, Joe Biden, first of all, had probably the angriest, most divisive State of the Union speech I've ever heard. If Donald Trump gave a speech like Joe Biden gave, talking about his predecessor and his political opponent in the next election, as many times as Joe Biden did, 13, by the way, as a record, as a record, never happened before, as many times as Joe Biden did in that State of the Union speech, they'd be talking about breaking the norms, threat to democracy, our institutions. But Grandpa Joe did it, and they're like, well, you know, times have changed. I watched all the analysis. I don't know how many of you guys did. I watched all the post-game analysis. I watched the speech. I watched the Republican rebuttal, which was lackluster. I watched it all. And it was amazing to watch the media bend over backwards, do gymnastics, to cover for, in my opinion, the worst State of the Union speech in the history of this country. The most divisive, the angriest. But that's not what Nancy Pelosi was mad about. No, no, no. Nancy Pelosi was angry about a word Joe Biden used. A specific word he used. A correct word, actually, that he used during the State of the Union speech. I want you to listen to her, and then I want you to give me your thoughts in the comments when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Dana. Madam Speaker, one of the uh, clearly ad-libbed moments was during the section about immigration. And uh, I'm sure you saw the buttons that your colleagues across the aisle had. And he had one of those buttons. We believe it was given to him by Marjorie Taylor Greene. And when she said something to him uh, during his speech, he responded. I think we have that. Let's listen to it. I, I didn't see any Republican buttons. Lincoln. Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. Now, you should have said undocumented, but I, that's not a big thing, okay? What, what's the big thing yeah, about that? No, 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 I, was, I, I, I actually wasn't even going to ask about that. I was just going to ask more about the moment. But you do think that he should have said undocumented? That wasn't going to be my question. Well, we usually say undocumented. Uh -huh. He said illegal. I don't think it's a big deal. Okay. I don't think it's a big deal. But, but more broadly... Because I think the, his focus was on the sympathy for the family. Yeah. It's a terrible tragedy. That was going to be the sort of the, the basis of my question about it, which is, as you well know, maybe you didn't know about the buttons. Uh, we, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of news about this this young woman who was a student at University of Georgia, and she died, and apparently was an undocumented immigrant. And and the fact that he was ready with that, with the button, with the response. Um, what do you make of that when it comes to not just the substance, but also the performance? Well, I think that it, it was, if that's spontaneous. See, I don't know about the buttons, and you're telling me that they had buttons. I didn't see, I, I didn't do too much schmoozing with the Republicans before. Usually we do, and we had some conversations, but none of the ones that came over to converse with us had those buttons on, so I didn't see the buttons. So we want to make a thing of the button. The president, I think, handled I, it very well. Yeah, and I think, I think he handled it very well. It's a terrible situation. That anybody losing a child or a family member. It's a terrible situation. But I, I think he handled it well. 